Welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And today we're going to be looking at Transformers Bumblebee Studio Series Wheeljack. Now this is a really cool figure, but first let's take a look at the packaging here. As you can see, you got a nice big window to check out the figure. Along the side, you got Transformers. At the bottom, you got Studio Series Wheeljack number 81. On the front there, you got a very nice photo of Wheeljack from the movie. And on the side, you got another close-up photo of Wheeljack Studio Series. And on the back, you got some product shots of the figure itself, along with the little display case he comes with. Once again, very nice, very nice indeed here. And on the side, you have another photo of Wheeljack right there. Once again, awesome looking figure. And an awesome looking character from the movie. And on the top, you got Transformers Bumblebee. And at the bottom of the box, you also have a bunch of Lego Mumbo Jumbo. So there we go with the packaging guys, let's go ahead, let's take them out of the box and let's check out this action figure. Alright guys, so here he is out of the box, once again a very nice looking figure, but let's go ahead and let's get a closer look at him. Alright, once again as always, let me see if I can get my camera to focus on him, because he does have lots of details and we don't want to miss any of them. So let's get it in focus. There we go, as you can see there, a very awesome looking head sculpt. Once again, lots of detail going up and down this figure. These are probably some of the nicest figures Hasbro has put out and very, very close to the characters on the movie. I was so looking forward to getting these. These figures are hard to get in some certain places and I was glad to get my hands on him. As you can see, once again, lots of detail. Hardly, very few hollow spaces, some in the legs, but they cover them up very nicely with the wheels there. But you don't see very much hollow uh, limbs, which is really cool. I actually like that in this figure. Now let's go into some of the articulation here. As you can see, his head is on a ball joint, so you do get some left, right tilted, some up and down, and some turnage. You can actually turn his head all the way 360 if you wanted to, but we're not gonna go that far today. There you go. Now with the arms, the arms at the shoulder goes all the way out, as you can see here. And his arm is on a ball joint, so he can do 360 degrees rotation there as well. Now with the arm, he does have a bicep rotation, so you can turn it. And he has a double jointed elbow, so you can go well past 90 degrees, and that's due to transformation. But that is a cool feature for posability as well. Now with the legs, legs so much he doesn't do a full split, but he can go out that far out to the side. But he can go all the way forward, as you can see here. And of course he can go all the way back. Now it looks like he's going past it, but that's just because of all the kimbling around the leg. But it is really cool. He does have a thigh rotation as well, as you can see here. And at the knee, he does do 90 degrees, which is once again, great for posing the figure. And he does have some up and down tiltage in the legs right there. He doesn't have any tiltage left or right, but that's okay. Cause you can still get him into some awesome looking figure uh, poses. And he has this cool gun, as you can see right here. This is a very awesome looking gun. Once again, that is the figure. I only have one figure to compare him to, so let's go ahead and bring that figure out right now. I do have the Transformers Generation wheel jack. So there you go, the two of them together. Very nice, very nice indeed. So guys, let's go ahead, let's transform him, and let's check out his alt mode. Alright guys, real fast, one more thing I forgot real fast to remind you. You can store his weapon even in his robot mode as per the instructions. You just take it off there. And that peg hole in the back, you can just mount it right there. And there you go, you have weapon storage for him in his robot mode. 
it wasn't in the instructions I forgot to show it in the first edited footage but I decided to add it here so you guys can actually see it so now on with the transformation <laughs> Transformers will return after these messages. Transformers will return after these messages. Alright guys, and here is his Cybertronian vehicle mode, which once again looks really nice, really cool. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. As you can see, lots of detail, but not all in your face. Very subtle. Now the back is open, which not to me a big issue because a lot of the toy lines have been doing that lately. So I'm not really concerned with that, but the side view and the front view especially is awesome looking just look at that just looks like a mean machine coming at you now here's a quick view from the top very nice here's a quick view from the bottom almost hides the entire robot you don't see them at the bottom but you do have the hollow point there once again very cool now he does have his gun and you can actually mount his gun on his vehicle mode you just mount it in the back here it does have a peg that goes into so you can have his gun right there so he can be armored up and ready to go on his wheels which is once again really cool but let's go ahead and let's bring out transformers generation wheel jack again and compare the two figures once again this one does transform into a lot larger vehicle but all in all once again a very cool figure nonetheless all right guys so there you have it a cool figure actually really excited to get my hands on this one very nice once again and that's where we're going to end this video for today all right guys once again that's going to wrap up another episode of toy collector review once again if you haven't done so already go ahead and start picking up these figures from this toy line from the transformers bumblebee movie these are awesome figures this is for all G1 fans, so if they want to know what their characters or their Transformers would look like in real life, and this is it. This is awesome. These are great figures, guys, so go ahead and collect them. I'm going to be trying to get as many of these as I can in the future and putting them on this channel for you guys. But if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a member of this channel, hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I put out a new video. And guys, share this video on all your social media platforms. Let's get the word out. And guys, if you like the content that I'm putting on this channel, go ahead and smash that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you guys who are watching this on Rumble, go ahead and smash that Rumble button. It does help. And guys, if there's anything you want to see on this channel, go ahead and hit me in the comment section below. And I will do my best to get those videos out to you guys. Once again, I'm Sergeant Geek. And I'm signing off.